Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a part 2 to my farm XP video. If you haven't seen part 1, you should probably go do that, or don't, I don't care. But yeah, I thought that since there are a lot of new players, making another video in regards to getting XP and leveling up fast just kind of made sense. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. So the first thing I'm going to mention is the Charisma Perk Card Inspirational, which gives a 5% XP bonus when on a team, and Fully Ranked Up will give a 15% XP bonus. So like, just go find some other players and invite them to teams, because I'm sure they'll be okay with it, and it's not like you have to follow them every step of the way. But yeah, let's move on to the next thing. The next thing is the event Feed the People, which is located in Morgantown, and what you do is you collect varied food items around the factory and deposit them into the hopper. After that, you will activate and defend the food processing machine from varied enemies, which will come in waves. It will mostly be feral ghouls, but you can encounter other creatures as well. The event itself is not why it's good for XP, it's actually the reward you get from it, which is canned meat stew, which gives 5% XP bonus for an hour. The next place is Wendigo Cave, which is located in the Savage Divide region, and here you'll find mostly Mirelurks, but also 1-2 to two Wendigos, hence why it's called Wendigo Cave. But I wouldn't recommend this to very low level players, as you can see my teammate, who is at level 16, died rather quickly, so I'd recommend being at least level 20-25 to 25 before entering. The enemies here range from level 20 to level 50, so it does give pretty decent XP per kill. The final place is Big Ben Tunnel, which starts in the Ash Heap region and goes across the map to the Cranberry Bog region. The enemies here can range from level 20 to level 60, so again, if you're very low level, then you'll probably end up dying a lot. But it is a good place for XP because of how many there are. You will mostly find Scorched here, but there is a chance you'll encounter Mole Rats as well. Another thing you can do is play the game in survival mode. This gives an automatic 20% XP bonus, so if you play in survival whilst going to all the places I mentioned while on a team, then you'll be able to make the most out of your overall experience. So I hope you found this video useful in any way. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, face reveal at a thousand subscribers, and uh, peace dudes!